guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to another Seed Build, and welcome back to another installment of The Squish. I promise it's not going to be all tiny homes this week. I do have one other one I want to share later this week, but I'm also working on a couple of different larger builds that hopefully will be out this week. Um, as you guys might know from my last video, as well as me posting about it on Twitter a lot, and I did one post on Instagram, I did adopt a dog recently, and he's been taking up a ton of my time. It's like having another full-time job trying to get him accustomed to the house, because he, he doesn't know basic commands, um, because partially because he's still young, he's only a year old, and partially because he didn't really have a home, he was a stray. So we're working on that, and him and my cat are not exactly on the same page yet. So it's been a lot adjusting to having him here. So I haven't had as much time as I wanted to, for, um, you know, building because I love building and that's all I ever want to do. But uh, I've been kind of adjusting to this new part of my life and it's been really fun, but it's been taking me away from YouTube a little bit. However, we just got a new update today that uh, gave us a ton, like over a thousand, if you have all the packs, unlocked items in The Sims 4, which were previously just world objects. And so I came up with a bunch of different ideas and I actually started a much bigger build in another world, which I will hopefully finish later this week and share with you guys. However, I really wanted to share something today and I kept coming across some fun like vines and trees and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've built here before, but I just recently went on like a binge of doing a ton of building in various of the secret worlds. So I was like, it's been a while. Let's build in Sylvan Glade as well. Get something cute and tiny and use all these beautiful vines that look kind of like magical and pretty to me. So that's what we're doing today. It's just like a little fairy cottage. I've done a couple of these before and there's actually a lot of cool items that were unlocked that are a little bit more spooky. So I'm excited to maybe do something in a Forgotten Hollow as well. Maybe like a vampire or witch themed build. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, please leave those below. But I have so many ideas that I want to do. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit of, <laughs> you know, a bell balancing act right now between YouTube, working, and having a dog because I haven't had one in eight years. So it's definitely an adjustment because I'm used to having my cat who, you know, you don't have to go and take him for walks and stuff, but it's really good because I'm getting out more and spending some more time outside and getting to know this little dog so much better. He is so cute and I love him so much. So it's all okay. I just got to figure out the balance between everything right now. Anyway, um, we're just placing down a million plants and going through everything that's been unlocked. I'm like so excited about it. There's so many items that I cannot wait to use. I have so many different ideas um, because there's so many items. Oh my goodness. There's so many things I didn't even know were in the background of other worlds. Other things I'm like, yay, we finally have this item or this tree that I've seen a thousand times. But there's tons that I've never even noticed before. So it's it's really like having multiple extra stuff packs. And none of the things are interactable. They're just like objects that are pretty, I guess. Um, they're just decorational items. So uh, they're not gonna add any new animations or anything to your game. They're just new things to add and make your builds look nice. Um, and that's something I love. And well, we don't, I don't think we got much like clutter, clutter, like stuff to go inside your house. It's all like outside stuff, which is good because I love doing that so much. We have hanging plants. We have some beautiful new trees and plants and bushes and stuff. Uh, we have the planter boxes, a couple of those. Uh, we have like all of the cars like that you see driving around in the backgrounds in the different packs, which is awesome. I'm excited to use some of those. There's, there's too many items to name. Like, ah, I'm so excited. Like we have the fire escapes from City Living. We have a bunch of like really fun things from Get Famous and all the coral from island living. It's just going to be so cool to explore. But anyway, on screen right now, we are changing off all of the colors of the windows to be brown because I thought having like a more woodsy looking cottage here in the woods would be nice because I think both of the other two I did were like they had browns, but like all of the accent colors were bright white. I had like white trims and stuff. So I thought it would be nice to make it a little bit darker here. And then we're going to test a ton of wallpapers and we actually end up using the one that came with island living. That's like the island like rustic one. But I thought it worked really well here in the woods as well. Uh, so hope you, hopefully you guys like that. Also, the lighting on this lot is interesting because this is the front of the lot, but all the lighting hits the back of it, which kind of sucks. But I still think it's a really pretty world. And um, yeah, you can get here by traveling through the tree in uh, Willow Creek. I don't remember what the name of the neighborhood is. It's by... Um, 
like the really cheap starter neighborhood in Willow Creek. There's like a giant tree and you can like water it and then talk to it and eventually you can trap like it opens up and you can travel in there and if you click the right combination of like events you can end up in Sylvan Glade and you can go fishing here and like collect things. It's one of the hidden worlds like I've gone over a couple of times over the last week or so. There's not a ton to do here but it is really pretty and it's worth visiting at least once. So I like to kind of you know, make little things here. But the lots tend to be really small in these worlds. I think this is like 20 by 15 or 20 by 20. So it's, or maybe even smaller than that. You know what? I'm going to check. I'm going to check in my game because I think I still have it up on screen. How big is this lot? Because you don't have a lot of space to build. So I feel like you're kind of limited to tiny homes. I mean, of course you can make them very tall, but this is a 15 by 10 lot. 15 by 10. So it is a very small home. Like I have to build a tiny home on this lot if we're going to have a home here. Um, but I think it'd be kind of cool to build something really tall here too, because then you could see the view of everything around you from up high. Oh, I don't know. I have so many ideas and I feel like all of the items that we've added that have been added to the game are going to give me so many more ideas. And here you can see me struggling with this table. I don't know why my brain hasn't been working, probably because I'm not getting as much sleep with everything going on lately. However, I just wanted one of the chairs to not be snapping to the table. I thought it would look cute if it was just kind of tucked under there at an angle. So that's what we did here. And uh, this this house doesn't have a TV or a normal living space. It has a sleeping space, an eating space, a cooking space, a bathroom. And then for activities, we have a violin and a easel. I thought easel, I mean, you got to paint what's around here. And if you're playing as like the idea of a fairy sim. I just thought it would be really cute for them to play violin or something like that. Or any sim really. I just thought it was a cool idea. And here we are just going around and deciding what else I want to change. I'd like spin around like crazy because I'm like, I want it to look so cute. And I'm pretty happy with it. It's like super overgrown. I really like those two trees that are connected and have that like wooden piece above it that I have above the trees. I'm not really sure where that exists. I'm assuming somewhere in Willow Creek in the background because it's got the pink trees and that's usually where they are. I really like them. And then we're using this bed from Seasons in this swatch. It's it's interesting. I don't think I've ever used that swatch before, but I quite liked it. And then adding an outdoor trash can inside. So then you don't need to. I thought that worked out. And this is the bathroom. It's very simple. I thought about using the handmade toilet, but I decided against it in the end. And uh, yeah, just adding a pretty mirror and a couple of decorations. Not too many. I think we just add the towel and then a towel rack over here as well. And I think that's it for the bathroom. I didn't want it to be too complicated. I think the living space was the focal point here and the exterior, of course. And of course, I have to add a uh, rug under the sink. That's something I do a lot. And sometimes I get questions about it. It's something I do in real life and everyone I know does in real life. But I realize not everyone in life does that. But it's just like so you have something comfy to stand on while you're doing dishes. And I think it looks nice. Um, but yeah, we're just adding a couple of finishing touches here. And then we will be going into screenshots. I hope you guys did enjoy this build. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications. So you're notified of every single time I upload a new video. And of course, leave any suggestions you have below, especially if you have any that are inspired by some of the new items we just got. I'm definitely going to be doing as much building as I can fit in this week because I'm really excited about this update. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we're going to be going into screenshots here momentarily and I got to go take Rudy for a walk before I head off to work. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.